Thank you. Yeah, um, Minister of State, it's a national scandal that our health service is becoming a crumbling mess due to the lack of urgent intervention by the Minister for Health. And this is extremely unfair on patients and on the hardworking nurses, doctors and consultants in our hospitals. The fact that there are now thousands of children waiting over a year for hospital appointments and health care is both upsetting and distressing for many families. And it is adding to this distress that operations in three main children's hospitals have been postponed. The fact that 117,000 people are awaiting health care treatment, hospital appointments and procedures, which includes 30,000 children waiting for over one year, is unacceptable and must be urgently addressed. Our elderly people are also being failed in our health system and are forced to lie on hospital trolleys day in, day out. And up to the end of October this year, 13,466 people over 75 years of age have endured emergency department waits of over 24 hours. And this is one third more than the same period last year. The actions that need to be taken by the Minister for Health are recruitment, more bed capacity, step-down facilities and home help hours made available and fairly distributed among the regions. Because we currently have a situation where many elderly people and people with disabilities are trapped in hospitals while they wait for the allocation of home help hours and this is obviously uh, escalating the whole crisis in our hospital in all the hospitals around the state. 2.5 million extra home help hours must be made available urgently within the system because, you know, the system is chaotic, as I say. It's unfair to the well-being of elderly people who are suffering enough as it is on trolleys and within hospitals waiting for these services. People in regions like Lee Shoffley are being very badly failed by this government and by the Minister for Health in this respect, as there is a chronic shortage of hours. I hear it every day of the week. I'm guaranteed to get a few phone calls on the need for home help hours for people who badly need them. The Minister for Health needs to step up to the mark and address this very, the very serious deficiencies in our health system. I mean, capacity has to be built before we build any sort of a policy. And at the moment, the basics are not in place. And that's what I would worry about. We don't have the recruitment issues addressed. We don't have bed capacity addressed. And, you know, people are being sold short and being unfairly treated. There must be more focus on investment in GP services, including the funding of chronic disease management and the expansion of GP out of hours service. The chronic shortage of GPs in rural communities, which is an issue that I have raised here on the floor of the Dáil, has to be addressed urgently before we talk about any other policy. I mean, we really need to get the basics right and fill the gaps in first. It was highlighted only today on Midlands Radio 3 that cancer patients aren't being given any financial supports and they're not being helped. I know the issue of medical cards has been raised already, but in terms of, of assistance, Recent research by the Irish Cancer Society found that cancer patients are spending an average of €756 Euro every month. And this, this research also found that these patients are also at the loss of around 18000 in earnings every year. This is unacceptable and it's a huge burden on these patients. And I would ask for something to be done because it, it's just... It's, it's, Unbelievable that we have at this day and age in 2019 that type of thing happening to the most vulnerable and the sickest people. Another issue in our health service is the unacceptable and the uncertainty that exists in terms of hospital services. I was only contacted earlier in the week about Port Leash Hospital and it has been brought to my attention by many people in Leash that there are still no assurances regarding Port Leash Hospital, the A&E department. It was raised a number of years ago and they still haven't been given any assurances. Also, I would just call on the Minister and I would hope the Minister would get back to me um, in terms of the maternity unit at Port Leash Hospital also, where uncertainty hangs over that. I understand that the Minister for Health will visit Port Leash very soon and I would call on him to just give the people you know, the fairness and, and be honest with the people and give them the assurances that their services are, are going to be protected going forward in Leash um, because this, this is unfair. It's, it's hung over the, the, the area for the last few years as I say. Thank you, Deputy Madam.